So gendered racism is a term that captures the way that sexism and racism narrowly intertwine and combine under conditions into one hybrid phenomenon. So again, it's this hybrid phenomenon, this intersectional oppression that has a negative impact on the lives of women of color um, and particularly young women of color. So um, it's about the complexity of oppression experienced that is rooted in racist perceptions of gender roles. We can think about the ways in which these historical stereotypes and controlling images um, really have a negative impact on um, various groups. And these things are rooted in the stereotypes of those groups, right? So it looks different for say, black women who have this mammy stereotype, asexual mammy like in Gone with the Wind, or the sapphire angry black woman stereotype, the Jezebel or sexualized black woman stereotype, right? And then we see that this also, some of these same stereotypes, fetishization, exoticization, hypersexualization are prevalent for Asian and Latina women as well. And then what we really see for indigenous women in addition to those are also the ways in which indigenous women are often made invisible in our, um, in our media, in the dominant discourse. Um, even finding images of native and indigenous women um, are hard to find, um, actor actresses is hard to find. And we also know again that, so the term that I use most often is gendered racism. It's a term coined by Philomena Assad, who's a sociologist. Um, and also there's racialized sexual harassment or racialized sexism. They're, they're very similar terms that really just mean this intersectional oppression that we've been talking about.